Hey, this is the Popsicle Stick Engineering video where we're going to be trying to make this little beauty. The trick is to get started with projects like these because as you learn how to make the first one, they get easier and easier and easier as you go. So it, it doesn't even really have to do anything to be a fun project. We can simply uh, learn the process and, and come up with ideas later. So this one I'll talk about briefly at the end. There's even popsicle sticks that transform. So this is a uh, pyramid shape that will fold down into a flat piece just like that. And once you start getting good at this, you can start to challenge yourself. Here's one I won't be teaching you how to do because I don't really, I don't know how to make it easier. I was challenging myself to make something that curves while it bends down and this is, this is pretty advanced. I had a hard time with this. Now here is a simple and popular one that a lot of people are interested in. So let's have a good time with this. Make sure you're trying again as you uh, get started. Hey, I wanna show you what you're gonna be able to make as you go through this. This is a simple project where the one stick turns, pushes on a rod, that's connected to four other ones and they move all together. This could be a part of some really interesting projects. Here's a similar project where the one stick is moving really far and fast with just a small movement of the first one. Okay, If you take a look at the, how this works, you'll see that the distance here, this stick has got just a little bit sticking out the bottom and that's how it's able to move so fast up at the top. Otherwise the mechanism is pretty standard. You could be trying something like this with an extension. Okay, This one works really nice because it has these wide popsicle sticks. However, I don't have these. I'll show you briefly how to make these out of uh, the standard popsicle sticks that I do have, or that most people have. The last thing before we get started, you know, we can make 3D structures. This is a, you know, pyramid shape. Well, if you remove the pin, the straws can come apart, and we can fold it together and have a nice flat piece at the same time. So there's a lot of different things you could do with popsicle sticks once you start seeing the techniques that can go into into making some structures. I want to get started with the project that I showed you in the example. So I have a half pop popsicle stick and a whole popsicle stick and simply putting them together You can start to see the trick to doing projects like this. So popsicle sticks have just enough depth to them that you can start to You can start to see how we can make 3D uh, objects and choices using these relatively flat objects. So what I have here is three layers thick. So there's the outer popsicle stick, there's the inner popsicle stick, and then there's the, uh, the one that's get sandwiched in between. And that gives me just enough room for a different popsicle stick to slide in between there. So I am able to put little spacers here and this is how it slides in and out so nicely. In a project where nothing slides everything just pivots. I'll show you how to make these pivots here in a minute. You might not have to worry about the slides. However, it's a really interesting and creative way to have a different kind of motion for this popsicle stick engineering prompt. Now I'm just plugging the space here because I don't want that popsicle stick to have too much freedom. And so now that those holes are plugged, what I can do is start making the, the parts that are going to pivot on these rails that I have along the side. Everyone wants to get hung up on 
the idea of I've got one stick that's going to do something. But the idea that I want you to walk away with today is that you can take two sticks and add a spacer in between to make something that's much stronger. And this is what we're going to put over, over here and we'll move with this, uh, this gliding piece. So I'm going to cut a bunch of little tiny blocks. I've got to figure out exactly where I want to place them to make a popsicle stick move something like this in the end. I'm going to want popsicle sticks going up and down just like so. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these directly to this middle piece that's moving and then I'm going to put rails where my finger is here to push it just to keep this a nice simple project and because I've got this rail, this middle piece, and uh, the outer rail all on the exact same level. This will be the simplest way to attach all of this and uh, keep it simple. So here we go. All right, now I've made a few steps here. I made this piece into a H shape, so there's a spacer in between because it's going to go around that first rail. Same for this piece. We've got a space in between. And you can see that I drilled the holes that will go through the whole thing. That's maybe the trickiest part. Well, I want to mention, if when you're drilling your holes in the popsicle sticks, the popsicle sticks often want to split. And I, I used untreated popsicle sticks here. And so this one split. This one split as well. Now that it's split, it's, it isn't too terrible to take some Elmer's glue and just put some glue on the uh, split and kind of push it together, maybe tape it together with the glue in there. It'll be stronger than it was when it was new. The other option would be to take Elmer's glue in a brush like this and actually just prepare the end of a popsicle stick to be drilled into kind of get a get a bunch of glue on there in there and let it dry while you're drilling a popsicle stick it's very common for somebody to want to go really slow very slow drilling but that's almost certain to, to split it what you really want to do is get it going as fast as possible and it it, it, it neatly goes through that if you are uncomfortable or have never drilled before, let's go to the back of the room and we'll have a little lesson by the vise. However, now that I've got these pieces ready to try out, I'm going to do a little dry fit. And so I've cut little pegs that will slip into here. I just want to make sure that before I really assemble this thing, that the, the, the pieces will move the way I expect them to move and as far as I expect them to move. So I've cut these little pegs of dowel rod. A popsicle stick, excuse me, a uh, toothpick might also do a nice job in this case. So those pegs are in place and now I'm going to try to hold my hand where I'm going to have the pieces being held. So it can move all the way that way. Now let me put my fingers on this side. They can move all the way that way. This is a pretty good sign. So these are moving nicely. This is the same way we made these. I made popsicle sticks. They are three wide, so you can see in the end here, three with a gap. Inside that gap goes a popsicle stick. Here's another gap with a popsicle stick. Okay, over here is the gap for these two. And then, of course, in the middle, 
this popsicle stick goes clean through. That's how it's so strong and steady and smooth because it's it's thicker than it looks. Okay. Even the rod up on top looks nice and thin, but if you look at it from the end, it's actually two pieces surrounding both sides of the mechanism. So to finish up my example project, I'm going to have to glue something here and here to hold it in place so that these don't just flop around. I think I'm going to drill it and use uh, skewers. You could just hot glue a, a, a piece of popsicle stick here. It'll do the same thing. Now on this side, since I want to have both sides do something, I want to use the same peg, but it's too thick. So this is already three popsicles wide right here. If I go outside of that, I'm going to be four and five popsicles wide. Well, that's not really a problem. I can make this guide three popsicles wide very easily just by adding two more popsicles to either side. And what I'll do then is make a spacer that is also three wide. So instead of a, a single spacer piece, I'll add two more on top of that so that when it's built, the five wide, well, the three wide spacer will go right around and perfectly match up over here what we have a, for width on that. So there's lots of ways to think about popsicle sticks and using different layers and different depths. I'm going to assemble the rest of this and we'll see how it looks. And so here I have it. The pegs along the side are constraining the motion of the popsicle sticks so that while this piece slides up and down, the side to side have got to flap just like so. Let's take a closer look at this one. So now you can see that there is a spacer. The piece that's moving is in between here. This bottom rail is on both sides of those two moving pieces down here at the bottom. This pivot point is in between those two rails. This popsicle stick, this joint, is connected on both sides. So there's a top piece and a bottom piece. And this first piece simply runs in between the rails. If I were to make this piece out of normal popsicle sticks, I would simply double up one side like this so that this piece will run in between the ones, this piece will have a double, this piece will have a double, and this piece will be doubled up and then the single piece will be in the middle of all of those. That's essentially what we have here. It's just he saved popsicle stick sticks by using small sections instead of entire boards.